Hello there, beautiful soul. Welcome into the channel, Sage Center Healing Tarot. Thank you so much for being here. And I really do hope that you're doing well in this time. So we're going to gather some general messages for you. Because they are general, they may not apply to all of you. So do take the messages that apply and the rest, let them fly. Also, I want to thank you for liking the video, for sharing it with those you love, and for being a subscriber here. If the messages inspire you and you feel like you want to share them with someone else, hit the share button. Share to your WhatsApp, Facebook, and your, all your blogs and other social media groups. All your support is abundantly appreciated. It feels like someone is, 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 is going to try to reach out to you. Someone you were once intertwined with, perhaps we lived with feels like you were the apple of this person's eye really you the empress you are a tree and you see how glorious and beautiful you are but you're also the fruit on the tree itself this person looks at you from a distance in amazing from a distance in amazement at this tree which is you it's almost like your life you're so fruitful you're so giving you're so productive it's almost like this person has been walking in a desert for so long and all of a sudden he comes up on this magical tree like in an enchanted space with this you are the fruit you are the space you are the entire presence and you're the tree that bears the fruit itself and now this person wants to come around to you and pick this fruit but it's almost like so divine. It's like a moth to a flame, really. Someone may be feeling some conflict. Decision making, moving, building, creating a home. Maybe wanting to come around to your home. Look at that. The night of coast. The emperor, earth sign, water sign. This person is just sitting there thinking about you, like you're not giving them your attention. They feel out of sync, out of coordination, out of balance with you. You're blocking this person. It's like they're saying to hell with it. They want to enter this, this, even this reading, they are probably upset at that as well whatever information or divine guidance you're getting that's making you so powerful and you know make, getting you to a place of empowerment that you can really step away from this zone this vibration that dark spell i did see the devil energy the death card here a lot of things were holding you back you see what i mean but yeah i feel like your angel came your angel came through in many different shapes and forms to enlighten you, to protect you, to advise you to protect yourself. I feel like this person started feeling out of control of the hold that they had over your emotions. It's like they saw you as this tree beautiful and you are so given as the Empress and the Ace of Pentacles vibration. That you let this person come around to your tree. I feel like you were, you liked the attention that they give to you or gave to you. You like how they see you or praise you or worship you. Or it, the way they are just captivated by you and you're like, oh my God, you're so amazing. But they were eating your fruit, something like that. It's almost like this person had a fester on the backside of them that you did not see all along of an illness they weren't telling you that they were injured mm -mm. i feel like your presence kind of made them forget the injury it was so divine they didn't mean to lie to you oh child this is so deep but they had to this person saw you divine fruitful abundant the empress and the ace of pentacles they realized that you're so blessed so full of life so look like you look like wealth you know what i mean and they felt desperate some shape, well, some way shape or 
form a bit in their energy as they move toward you toward this light like i'm saying it's like this person has been um walking for a while in the desert and then all of a sudden they see you this tree that is like life everlasting oh my god girls so that's what they wanted to tap into everlasting life by you it's like joy to the world they found you literally it feels like you're golden you're just shining like this you're the city of light that this person has been looking for their north star they were after you some way shape or form i feel like this person was successful to have you this person is determined yeah a very determined calculative person yeah may have been on their own but they wanted to get to that source so this is not a weak person that I'm talking about. And they got to you now that they're at your tree. They kicked in the charm. Yes, yes. They're manipulative, this person. This is what they know. It's a survival instinct or tactic. So when they get to you, the charm kicks in. And so it's like they immediately think, all right, so what do I have to do to get into this energy? Because immediately they, you know, they begin to feel immediately <laughs> like they're not worthy of this presence no one told them that it's just as if they just know okay i know i'm not worthy so i have to come up with something manipulative to do to get into this person's energy even though this whole entire divinity would have allowed this person's energy in anyway they had to go in with manipulation because it's what they know it is also what they've been running from, something like that. This person may have been on the run, surviving. <laughs> it's like this person may have escaped from out of the hands. See, they were moving far away from some distant place to start over to find this life or to get to have a new life. So when they found you, the Empress, and um, yeah, they came to you, they immediately started to think, so I think they immediately started to manipulate you, immediately. So they're like, oh, you're so amazing and so wonderful, like pure compliments, that's, what, that's their tactic. So sweet and charming. This person could be a Virgo. Our earth sign with the devil energy, an earth sign. So charming. And they think in their mind that they are winning you over because they're charming. You know, this is how like this, this kind of psychopathic behavior works. They think they're charming because they think they're, 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 they're successful because you're allowing them into your space. Not knowing that you're so different, you'd have allowed them in any way. But in their brain, which is making them even more narcissistic and manipulative, talking fast again, sorry. What is making them even more manipulative and narcissistic? Is that they feel like they have won. I'm like, oh my, they're like, oh my God, all right. I told her she's beautiful. I can get into her energy now, yeah. Not knowing that you just, this is how you naturally are. So now they want to turn up the manipulation because they feel like they're in control. It's so, while you're just there being humble, being so given, so fruitful, so abundant. And um, this person was suffering. They were suffering because they had secrets, things that they were running from. They probably were physically ill as well. Like I said, I feel like this person had a fester on their backside. They just weren't telling you about, man. And it was eating them out, telling you. But they were eating your fruit. They were beginning to feel better. They were eating up your energy. They were with you. And at the same time, there was something in them that wanted to suppress you and to belittle you and to like because it's like they couldn't stand it it's like this person started to get jealous or envious of your light because they couldn't understand how you're so how come you just keep like I, every time i eat your fruit it's like you're so abundant and you keep flourishing why is that and i'm over here suffering and the reason why they're suffering is because they think they have to be manipulative and they think they were taking control of you but they're realizing they can't really control your true pure light no matter how they eat and fed over you and because they thought they were in control of you they even tried to hurt you to gaslight you to see how much they could really control you like mm. 
Can I now own this entire light for myself? Now I can feel powerful. Oh. It was just so fake because they, wa they weren't really manipulating you. It happened. I'm not saying they weren't manipulative. And I'm not saying they didn't try to gaslight you and all of that. I'm not saying you didn't suffer at their hand. But what I'm saying is you're so... It's not because of their will why you bent or you caved or you gave in to them or you served them or catered to their need. Mm -mm. It's just because you're so abundant and so fruitful and that is naturally you. You, at this point may need to enforce boundaries this person coming into your life is possibly a gift for you to learn to have boundaries or i don't feel it just happened so out of the blue this person this, this person came to your tree for a reason for you it's not just for them to come and fill up and honestly if this person stayed around you for long enough, they would have healed one way, shape, or form. And honestly, if you weren't the Empress, you probably would have, they would have, um, if they could have. I'm trying to figure out if this person would have taken care of your energy. I'm not sure they could have taken care of their energy because they don't have what it takes or they think they don't. Because remember, everything that they do is manipulative because they, they think that they don't deserve what is well. This message is for all of us, me. So maybe we need to be looking in our lives to see how we're being manipulative. Especially when we don't think we deserve it fully. Whatever it is, abundance, love, attention, appreciation, manifestations. All the beautiful things. How are we being manipulative to others, to ourselves, or environment? Negatively, I mean, you know, toxically. Toxically? And how can we really look at these things within ourselves so that we're not attracting people that want to manipulate us even more? So I feel like your message may be to be the divine tree, the empress and the ace of pentacles, to know that you are fully abundant. You're welcome every time. I give to you fully, openly. And so when you act or come, you don't have to, you shouldn't have to, don't think you are, you should be, when you come into this space, don't be manipulative. Because I, I am abundant. I feel a lot. I give what I can. So it's like, Come, share with me and tell me what you are experiencing. Sit here with me. Be honest, you've gotten to the tree, now what? Don't manipulate the energy. How do you receive from the, what you've been looking for for so long and you found it and you decide to manipulate it? Because you still feel unworthy of it. So sit with me. Quietly. Even in your state. As devil. You know. I will see you. And I will still share my fruit with you. <laughs> it depends. Because I have to have boundaries. Oh, yes. And because I am the Empress, I know all. Leave that one there for you. I love you.
Thank you for being here. I do hope you found messages that inspire you and can help you on your journey. If you did, hit the like button, share, subscribe, come back again whenever I upload new content for you. I really do appreciate all your acts of support. Thank you for being on this journey. Much love. See you next time. Remember, you are all and all is within you. Each one, what good.